Jeremy Cook here for Embedded Computing Design. Today I'll be looking at the Digilent Analog Discovery 3 computer-based oscilloscope and much more. It's available for $379 from Digilent.com. The device is about 100 millimeters square and 20 millimeters thick. Here it is next to a banana for scale. Notably, it's somewhat larger than the Analog Discovery 2, which I've got right next to it. The Analog Discovery 3 has a maximum sample rate of 125 mega samples per second. It has dual 14-bit analog inputs and dual plus or minus 5-volt 14-bit analog output. It has 16 digital I.O. pins and plus 5-volt and negative 5-volt variable power supply. It has a USB-C port with a 2.0 spec. There's no display or controls on the device as it uses a computer as the user interface. While you might miss the knobs and buttons of more traditional test equipment, the upside is that its companion waveform software allows it to work as an oscilloscope, waveform generator, power supply, voltmeter, data logger, logic analyzer, pattern generator, static I.O., spectrum analyzer, network analyzer, impedance analyzer, curve tracer, protocol analyzer, and script editor, or 14 separate test devices. All right, so I'm gonna do a little demo of the waveforms um, hardware and software, or waveform software, and hook up the wave generator to the oscilloscope. So let's boot this up. Waveforms, and it should detect my Digilent Analog Discovery 3. All right, so that's good. We will pop open the scope. And as you can see, there's nothing really on there. We'll, we'll hit the run button and it's armed. Okay, so that's good. And what we'll need to do is hook this up so that the wave generator goes into the, um, let's see. Wave generator goes in the scope. Get it going fully. So let's see if we go to welcome and then we say wave gen. So pop that up there. All right, so if we run this, we should see a sine wave. All right, so that's good. So channel one's running, you know, we'll pop that out. We'll see what happens. See, it just goes to static. We pop it out, pop it back in, all, all good. So, um, yeah, that's good. We can adjust that one kilohertz. We can take it up to say five kilohertz, uh, back down to one. And we can adjust it. We could say, let's see, sine wave. We could do a square wave. You can see that on the on the generator as well as the, uh, the, the uh, oscilloscope. And again, we'll just pop that out. So it goes in and out. So that's, that's good. And then if we want to have a second channel, so we'll say channel two, we'll turn that on in the waveform software. All right, so it's stopped now, so let's go ahead and run channel one, and you can see that it's a square wave, and if we run channel two, we can get that open, open there as well. This has been my review of the Digital Analog Discovery 3 computer-based test package. We're giving one away, and information on the contest is available in the video description. A written review of the unit is available on embeddedcomputing.com. Thanks so much for watching. This is Jeremy Cook, signing off.